Okay, it's late Friday night or early, early Saturday morning, and I just went to check on my Motorola Zoom for something really quick, and this is what I get. I get a notification that says system update. A system update is ready to install. Your Android device will restart and install the update. Well, what could this update be? Well, it's probably the Android 3.2 Honeycomb update. As of right now, the 3G Motorola Zooms are still running on Android 3.1. The Wi-Fi version's already got the 3.2 update. I believe there's some tablets already selling with the 3.2 update currently. But the first ever Honeycomb tablet gets the update a little bit later. So I'm going to install this update right now. For the most part, what this update is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to scale applications to the larger screen size. So if you have an application that's formatted for a mobile phone, you can actually stretch it to fit the larger screen here. Also, the micro SD card slot will be enabled, so finally we can use that. So let me click on install now, and it says system update rebooting to install in seven seconds. So I'm gonna let it do what it's gonna do, and here we go. We get the cool Android with gears graphic here. Okay, so the Motorola Zoom rebooted and I should be running off of Android 3.2 right now, but let's check it out. Okay, I entered into my settings and it says Android 3.2 here. So finally I'm running the latest version of Android, Android 3.2 Honeycomb on my Motorola Zoom. I've been waiting for this for, I don't know, about a month now, maybe three weeks since the update actually rolled out to the guys who actually have the Wi-Fi version. Must have been something with the 3G that, that delayed it. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to check out is how the mobile phone or smaller screen resolution apps scale up on the Android 3.2 Honeycomb tablet. So we're gonna to go to the apps here, and I think Speed Test here was one of the apps that is formatted for a mobile phone screen. So I'm gonna click on that, and what I get here, it says Compatibility Zoom. When an app was designed for a smaller screen, a zoom control will appear by the clock. So down here, I actually see it down here, it's a small, um, arrows going in all the different corners. Let me show you what that looks like right there. That is the zoom button right there. So I'm just going to hit OK here. And here's the speed test app. And let me put it in the portrait mode here. There we go. And I'm going to click on the zoom button here. And I'm going to, it gives me two options, stretch to fill screen or zoom to fill screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put zoom to fill screen because stretch to fill screen was already selected and it seems to like the other orientation so let me flip it around this way. And there we go. So the app has been stretched to fill the entire screen here. Uh, it actually says zoom to fill entire screen, not stretched and I can begin the test now if I wanted to do that. But uh, this was just to show you how you can zoom in on apps that are meant for smaller screens. It's similar to the iOS version where you can, or the actually the uh, iPad 2 version, where you can times to an app. So that's how you do that. I'll click back on here and click on stretch to fill screen and it goes back to its normal size there. Okay. Now the other thing that has been enabled in the Android 3.2 update is that you can actually use the SD card slot on the device here. And let me show you that right now. Okay, I have my SD card and this is actually a micro SD card in an SD card adapter. So this I had in my digital camera and I took some pictures with it. And I'm just gonna pull out the micro SD card out of it. 
Uh, this one happens to be a two gigabyte version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this micro SD card and I'm going to put it in the top of the Motorola Zoom here. Now, up here you have a slot for micro SD cards and the upcoming LTE SIM card, the 4G SIM card. So I'm just going to pull this out here, as you can see. Now this itself, you'd fit the SIM in here, okay? So I'm just going to put that to the side. Now here you actually have a plastic piece for the micro SD card. And it actually says, I don't know if you can read it on there, but uh, there's some text on that little piece of plastic that says replace with micro SD card only after Android system update. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to grab my micro SD card here and I'm going to put it in the slot up here. And I'm going to try and put it in and see if anything pops on the screen at the same time. Okay, nothing popped up on it. Okay, I went into my settings here, and I went into storage over here, and on the bottom of here it says SD card, mount SD card. I'm going to click on that, and let's see, it actually shows uh, that I have some stuff on there. I have uh, total space, 1.89 gigabytes and 1.88 available. I only have a couple of pictures on there. So let's see if we can now pull up from the SD card into the gallery on this device here. So let me click on gallery here. And here we go. It says 100 Pentax, 12 pictures here. Let's click on that. Now these were all pictures taken with my camera. It's actually a waterproof camera, which is pretty cool. I took this on a, on a river. So you can scroll through all of the pictures on the SD card. So that's cool that that was finally enabled, that you can actually insert a micro SD card now on the Motorola Zoom tablet, and you can actually read off of it. Very cool. Okay, so those are pretty much the two major things that are updated with Android 3.2 Honeycomb. Now, something that actually was updated recently, uh, but it's pretty much on the web end of things from Google, is the Google search on Android tablets. The Google search on Android tablets did not come with the Android 3.2 update, but it pretty much came around the same time as the update. So I figured it's not worthy enough to actually do a video entirely on its own, so I thought I'd incorporate it into this video. Basically, what it allows you to do is do a Google search, and it makes things a little bit more finger-friendly. So you could search for anything. Let's, uh, let's put a search in here. Nexus Prime. Look for Nexus Prime. And as you can see here, the Google search is larger. It's not like you would see on your desktop or a laptop. Uh, it's a little more finger friendly, like I said. So the Google site recognizes that you're surfing on an Android tablet and it makes things a little bit more easy to read and easier to, to hit. Uh, a couple of the things that you might notice here is that these are the, the uh, things that pulled up when I looked up Nexus Prime. You can hit a search button here and it allows you to do your image searches, your video searches, news, shopping, books, places, blogs, discussions, etc. So those are the things that are pretty much represented up here, but they're a little bit smaller there. So it, like I said, it makes things a little bit more finger friendly for you here. Also, uh, you have your safe search options there, your anytime filter here. So it allows you to filter your results uh, on a time basis. So if you want to just see the results from the past hour, past 24 hours, things like that. And uh, as far as all results here, you have the ability to filter it for all results or sites with images, related searches, timeline, dictionary, reading level, and there's a couple other options there. So, like I said, it's just a basically a finger-friendly Google search meant for tablets. It's something that has been rolled out on the web end of things, and it has nothing to do with the Android 3.2 update. But again, like I said, I thought I'd include it in this video. So that pretty much is Android 3.2 on the Motorola Zoom tablet. Finally it arrived for us 3G Motorola Zoom users. 
So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.